Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. You can schedule an appointment there or, or by calling 952-540-9000. You're also welcome to view the free Carfax available on our website at 411carline.com. Just click on the little Carfax icon. It'll say Carfax One Owner or Carfax Advantage Dealer. We just had this. Wow, I must have. Hold on just one second here. You'd think I'd have these videos uh, figured out by now, but... Unfortunately, I'm always learning, just like most humans. So, anyways, we have this 2016 Acura RDX. It's a local vehicle, came from Wisconsin. Um, before that, I know it was in Duluth. It's actually really clean underneath. Um, it's a cool color. I should have looked up the color before I started this video, but of course I didn't. Um, it's also pretty well optioned. Uh, it does have Goodyear all-season tires on it. They look like they're uh, about 90% or so. We had this fully inspected by a third-party mechanic shop. He didn't recommend doing anything. He said it was fully serviced, good to go. Uh, brakes are good, tires are good, oil was fresh, um, didn't need anything. So pretty impressive. Overall condition of the car, um, I, would, I would rate it as average or above average as far as the paint condition and everything. Again, it's that really cool... Um, kind of like a burgundy-ish maroon color. Um, ob obviously, it's got 50,000 miles on it, so it has a couple of rock chips there. Front bumper is pretty clean. Just the shape of the hood here that catches uh, anything that kicks up. Headlights are nice and clean as well. Walking around the car here, that fender is nice and clean. Uh, wheels, I didn't notice any curb rash or anything, so that's always good. Mirrors look good. It's actually, the body's really clean other than those couple of rock chips on the front. That wheel's nice and clean. Trying to see if I can pick out anything. There's a couple little scuffs, of course, on the cargo area. When I open that later, I'll show you those. That's pretty common, but uh, honestly, if you'd really have to be looking for it to see those. So, keep walking around here. I mean, I'm sure if you really looked, you could maybe find a light scratch here or there, but overall, I would definitely rate it as above average. Of course, it's not a brand new car. It is pre-owned or used. That mirror's nice and clean. It does have moonroof. Also has uh, keyless entry and exit, so you just push that button to lock it. Um, it does have two two fobs, two key fobs. That's important to a lot of people. It has memory seats, which are here. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors, of course. Power heated leather seats. Both driver and passenger are power. I'll hop in here and start it up. So it is push button start. This one has membership oh, eligible. Rock now and taking photos. 54,634 miles on it or at the at the moment. Of course it will go up when people test drive it and so, stuff. Um, as I mentioned, it's been fully serviced, fully inspected. You're also welcome to have it inspected if you like prior to purchasing it. You can see uh, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. Um, it has some nice features like dual automatic climate control, but it's pretty simple. It doesn't have like the advanced package or anything like that, which is kind of nice because there's less things to go wrong. There's less updates to do, less programming stuff. Um, a lot of times when you get that, those extra features, they're nice to have, but um, yeah, kind of nice to have simpler ones too. It does have backup camera, also has Bluetooth here, uh, dual automatic climate control, heated seats are here automatic of course does have paddle shifters so there is the sport shift option you can see up here how the display is where the temperature is displayed it looks like it has rear defrost with heated mirrors that's important in minnesota it's got a 12 volt outlet there and in here as well as augs and usb in here factory manual is in the glove box Moonroof works and operates as it should. 
I think I really need to clean my phone camera. It looks like a little blurry. There we go. Um, it does have a uh, home link garage door opener, which is up here. I didn't really notice that the interior is actually super clean. I uh, didn't notice any damages that really stuck out to me. Uh, no wear, no unusual wear. Interior I would definitely rate as above average for the year in miles. Cruise control, of course. Uh, this you can scroll through the um, settings up here. This is hands-free Bluetooth, and of course radio controls. It does have automatic headlamps. Important for insurance purposes. Power rear gate and traction control. I think that's about it on the inside. Again, super clean on the interior. Non-smoker vehicle. No pet smells or anything like that either. No pet hair either would be the other thing. I didn't see any on the inside here, so yeah. Interior is super nice. Of course, in the areas where you'd look for rust, there is none. Looks like it's been relatively well cared for. It does have a power rear gate, you just push the little switch and it opens up. Factory floor mats are in there. It's kind of a cool feature here. You just pull on this little handle. Seat comes down, same thing with this side. Makes it super easy. And again, I was talking about, of course, you'll get little nicks on the bumper here just from loading and unloading stuff. So, but looks pretty good. Got a factory sub subwoofer back here too, the stereo system. Hit the close button. Man, it is a Monday. It's kind of chilly out in Minnesota here too. There's no unusual wear. This was just the seat was folded down while uh, while it was at details. So I think these will actually come out, but I mean that's super minor. Most people wouldn't notice that. I don't know why I just pointed it out, but <laughs> I like to be honest and transparent. Again, you can see the tire depth here, so nice and thick. I shall pop the hood here. Oh yeah, I haven't showed this on many videos, but hit that, gas hatch does work as it should. That's important. Nothing worse than standing at the gas pump and uh, trying to get that open and you need to kind of like stick a key in there or something and then pop the hatch. Yeah. Anyways, it works as it should. <laughs> My phone does pick up small small engine noise, so you might get like the valve train chatter on the, on the phone, uh, excuse me, on the video, because the phone is picking it up. It's not knocking anything, it's just the fuel injectors and the valve train making noise, and valves and everything going back and forth. My phone just seems to pick it up more than, uh, more than a human ear, so I was looking for, uh, like signs of rust and stuff in the engine bay. I didn't see any. All the all the heads for the bolts is kind of usually what I look at first. They all look shiny yet, so. Along well, here is another thing on like Honda Acura. Everything looks super clean. Very well cared for. Again, I'll sh show you underneath here. Gosh, my phone then does not go brighter. I don't know why that is. Oh, there's photos online too, but it's relatively rust-free underneath. It looks super clean. Yeah, if you look at the bolts there, you can see that they're uh, so shiny. You don't usually get that when it seems salt. So.
Looks pretty good. Again, you can find us at 411carlane.com. Check out the Carfax there, set up an appointment, or give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks for your time.